Kendrick Sanders, Homestead, Florida, New York AC and USOEC is where he is representing. Ellis Coleman trains out of Colorado Springs, representing the New York Athletic Club. And both of these guys young. Sanders 22, Coleman 21, and of course Coleman famous for what? The Flying Squirrel. You and guys that made know ESP it. I mean that was ESPN's play of the day for a long time. Yeah, and uh, he's popped up. He was wrestling 60 kilos the last couple of years on the junior level, and then one year on the senior level. He goes up to 66, and man, he looks bigger. He almost looks taller. Maybe he just has filled out, obviously. Kendrick Sanders, three-time junior national champion, three-time Florida high school state champion, and this guy's got some big-time stuff in the back pocket. He'll and I, you, Kendrick Sanders, as will Ellis Coleman. Got two great athletes out here. Does that pocket have a button or, or, a, uh, or a, a snap on it? It's, it's wide it open. It's <laughs> wide open. I mean, these guys can no pun intended, just really let it fly. Oh, see that's some of that. a good one, Shane. Let it fly. I like it. You should have. That's very punny. <laughs> and we got a minute 20 to go here in the first period. Nothing going. Ellis Coleman, bronze medalist in both 2010 and 2011 at the Junior World Championships before winning the Olympic trials last April. Carver Hawkeye over Joe Betterman. And we got one minute to go here in the period. Over, under, Ellis has it locked up. Trying to crunch it down, no go. And so we go from Coleman, Ellis Coleman, excuse me, go from Coleman Scott to Ellis Coleman. <laughs> trying to, trying to, no, it didn't work, Bader, it's cool. <laughs> Not the last time I will fail at something. And... Coleman comes forward, and all of a sudden Sanders isn't there, and we are going to go to parterre position. So Ellis Coleman in the blue singlet will go on bottom. And as good as Ellis Coleman is in that top position, it is, it is so critical right here for Sanders to win this period. Yep, yep. He's got a score here. Absolutely. And I don't know what happened, but I just felt and heard a slam over on the next bat and a big applause for the crowd, but oh, right in front of us. Oh, beautiful job. Sanders is gonna score here. He's gonna get three from the reverse body lift and almost got one on the push out, but it's Coleman's job to come forward hard now. He's got 19 seconds and he doesn't want a push out. He doesn't need a one point. He needs a three pointer. But at the same time, oh, oh, he's going the flag squirrel. And he's gonna get, are they going to give three red on that? They're going to give five red on that? And now they're going to talk know. about it. I'm not sure what You what saw, happened. what did the referee rule mark? I think the referee on the mat said three. Because I saw the judge the at five. five. And now they're having a conversation right here. And... They're having a discussion. Literally here's like here's what's a little, and, and I, I'm just going to throw this out here, Mark. Here okay. Trying to eavesdrop. We're trying to eavesdrop on their conversation. They're literally like two feet from us. I think it's going to be no points. So that's us. <laughs> And that's them. So they're going to say no points. And uh, I think it's just going to end that way. And we got oh, four, we got four seconds, seconds left. to go. So, well, you know, Ellis Coleman went for the flying squirrel again. I just want to bring this up, okay? And I'm, I'm just throwing this out there. I'm not by any means an expert on Greg Orman wrestling. But if it, it, it seems like it's going to be pretty close. And again, as we know in freestyle, Greg Orman can turn on a dime. But so it's 3 nothing. If you're Ellis Coleman, this goes to a third period. Collective points in the first two periods combined influence that decision, correct? Why not maybe get a push out and just get a point? Yeah. Why not get a point? It's true. Right? I'm not a Greco expert either. Yeah, Shane, we'll see how it plays out. I, I just thought maybe right there you take a point. But, yeah, you know. Because that's the criteria, right? If they go to a third period ah. in Greco, it's, it's cumulative points. Well, you know, I think he was trying to win the period, so. Pretty yeah. unrealistic at that point. Yeah. He wasn't going to win it with. Yeah, yeah. Well, he went for the flying squirrel, you know, you know. He's got you got a puncher's chance there. So we're gonna go to the second period though. Sanders won that first one 3-0 with a reverse body lift and an exposure there on the uh, 
parterre position the last 30 seconds. 30 seconds into the second period. I remember the very first time I saw Kendrick Sanders. It was in inside the Fargo Dome. He was wrestling Kelvin York in the final. And uh, Kelvin York is, is at Wisconsin. And Kendrick Sanders, I mean, it was frequent flyer mile <laughs> city. I mean, Kelvin York spent the majority of that final in the sky. Uh, it, know, it was, I'll did, never forget so it. How many miles did he get for it? Did he get like upgraded to first class? I think or? he ended up getting three round trip flights, domestic flights. Oh yeah, that's first class all, all written all over it. Under a minute to go here in the second period, and we have no score. 20 from Parterre. A lot of position fighting, and if it goes to Parterre, Ellis Coleman will start on top this time, try to get some redemption. Neither guy really able to get much offense going here on their feet as they really just kind of neutralize each other. Now Sanders will go on bottom. Coleman's got phenomenal gut wrench. Let's see what he does. Is he going to start with the gut wrench? He's going to start traditional style here. He's got a... He's got a phenomenal gut wrench and I've I I don't know if I've ever really seen anybody defend it I, and I don't watch him a, a lot but I remember the one that he got on Betterman and they go for that it is. he's gonna get two he's gonna have to uh, no he's gonna score here he's gonna probably win he's this got, period he's gonna go trapped arm gut points important right here can he get one more inside of five seconds yeah, oh, he's gonna he get two it. at the buzzer with two seconds. Well, not the buzzer. Two, one, one, two seconds to go. Coleman finishes that trapped arm gut, and he's gonna win the period 4-0. Wow, he just kept pouring it on. Ellis Coleman does a great job, and that second gut that he hit could be huge when it's all said and done. Yeah, if if it comes down to some criteria, huh? And you can tell Sanders he. Smacked the mat a little bit, frust you know, frustrated with himself. I mean, he obviously confidence in his parterre defense. But Coleman, he gets that gut locked up tight. He just squeezes the life out of you. See if things pick up a little bit here in this third period. Both periods have gone to parterre. Sanders just 22, Coleman 21. And you got to imagine these guys, 21 and 22 years old, they're going to see plenty of each other over the next couple years. Shoot, the next, you know, couple cycles possibly. I like seeing those rivalries. Yep. I mean, guys that, you know, keep you up at night knowing you got to beat them, <laughs> right? Back and forth, absolutely, you know. They're, and they're going to see so much of each other and, and um, you know, you would imagine they're going to go back and forth a couple times and I'm going to win, you're going to win, but who's going to do it when it really matters the most, when it's the world team trials, when it's the Olympic trials? Exactly. Not how many times you win, but when you win. Absolutely. 30 seconds away from parts here, here in this third period. If I'm Sanders, I think it's more important right, right now for him because it's going to be Coleman's choice and he's going to go top. Yes. Yes, you are correct here. And Coleman looking for a drag, not there. Well, yeah, and as you said, that's a good point there, Shane. We'll see if Sanders tries to pick it up. He's got, you know, 13 seconds to go and before we get to that ball drop. It would have been Sanders' choice had he not gone over that second time in that trap arm. Yeah, and that's probably, like you said, he showed that frustration there at the end of the period. Three, two, one. Coleman almost gets a push out of referee, almost in the way there. That was close. Yeah. Coleman's going to get Coleman, the start with choice. I'm he he's says, going up top, and I love that. Yeah, I just it. love it. Well, I'm you know, here's, here's the thing. Both of them scored from up top, so, you know, we love it. But it's also the right choice. I mean, you know, he it's, got, A lot of it, too, Mark, is real simple. It's just a mentality. Yep. Starts from behind, and Sanders does a nice job blocking the hands. Coleman, though, gets a nice Look at him wrap waist. Up. He goes one side to the other on the waist. 22 seconds to get a gut going here, and he's going to try. Looks like he's going to get it. He's Pops his hips. Nice back arch. And Coleman gets two points, 10 seconds to go. Sanders looks up at the ref. Meanwhile, he's going to get a trapped arm gut. Oh, yeah. 
final seconds. Ellis Coleman, after dropping the first period, rallies back to take the second period and wins this third period. 2-1, Ellis Coleman, your U.S. Open champion. Congratulations to Ellis Coleman. He wins the Open here three periods. And as you said, Shane, the difference was that gut wrench, the two points he scored at the end of the second period. And